Okay, so today we're going to be building a, an outfit on an assembly table. Uh, this is going to be a three-part video series. This this is part two, the build. Uh, part one was the was the design where we talk about the old table and the features it had, and I take you into SketchUp and show you what the new table looks like. Uh, but if you missed that video, I'll link it down in the description so you can go watch it first and then come back. Uh, but in this particular video, the build, the first step in this project is going to be to break down the sheets of plywood. Now we started out with four by eight sheets of three quarter inch plywood, and this is Pure Bond plywood. Uh, I reached out to Pure Bond because I just really love the product, and they were nice enough to provide the materials uh, made right here in North America and from out of hide free, which means eco-friendly. So big plus in my book. Uh, but the first thing we broke everything down. Um, the piece that you see here that I'm working with is going to be the tabletop and I am laying everything out for the downdraft area, uh, the router lift, and also the tool tray. And so I pull up my plans on my cell phone and get the measurements that I need and I mark everything out. Now the next thing that I do is cut out all the legs and taper them to size. I'm using a shop made taper jig here. I've got a plan for that on my website. It's a free download, so uh, go get that if you need it. Uh, we're going to use pocket holes in this project. Uh, I, I like using pocket holes in shop applications because it makes everything go by quicker. Uh, it's easy to assemble, and in my opinion, they're pretty strong joints. Now, I'll put pocket holes all the way around this table. Um, I'll put two on each corner. Uh, for the, each leg and then I'll measure out and evenly drill pocket holes for the aprons. Uh, you know, the aprons probably don't need three or four uh, pocket holes and then the legs, I want to put two in each leg from, from the edge. So here I'm putting the legs together. You can see that I've got blue painters tape and the reason for that was I went ahead and I laid them out where they were going to go made sure I drilled my pocket holes on the right side and then taped them up and just wrote on there what corner that belonged to. Just so I didn't, don't get confused later on in, in the project. So here are the aprons. I'm just drilling a couple of pocket holes in each end. Uh, that will allow me to attach those to the leg itself. Um, the leg has a uh, four inch, uh, as you can see there, where the apron uh, attaches to the leg and then it's got the angled or tapered cut to the bottom. So here I'm just going to attach all the legs and the aprons and then once I've got this uh, part of the project done, um, next I will, I don't show, I don't show me flipping the table but the next scene you see I'm cutting out, here we go, I'm drilling the holes for the uh, tool tray, the router lift and also the downdraft. Um, I'm going to get those cut out and get this installed and then we'll put in the grid. So there you can see I'm just kind of getting everything rough cut it and I'll go back with a router in a later step and straighten everything out. I just want to get the rough opening where I kind of know where to put the uh, under the grid on the underside. Um, but first we got to put in the tool tray and the downdraft and then also the router lift. Now the router lift for this table is uh, Jay Bates design router lift. Uh, and the reason I had that in my old table and the reason I wanted to keep it is because I, I like it so much. The dust collection is great. Um, just the fine adjustment. I mean everything about it I just I just in, I really enjoyed using it. So I'm going to transfer that over into the new table. Uh, I'll provide a link for you guys down below in the description. If you decide to buy the plans for this table, I'll also provide the link for Jay's router lift so you can get both at the same time. Okay, so I'll move on to the next step, which is assembling the uh, drawers and cubbies for as you're standing at the table saw, it would be the left hand side of the table. Uh, there'll, be, there'll be two drawers and six cubby holes. Um, and what I'll use for this is uh, power tools and router accessories and that kind of thing. Uh, but here I'm ass assembling the drawers. Uh, we're just real simple butt joints here. Uh, we're just looking for storage. Uh, we're not trying to get uh, too fancy on this. Uh, I'm going to drill an um, inch and a half uh, hole for the finger pull. And so we just drill that out with a Forstner bit and line it up evenly and screw it in from the inside. And the runners are 
made out of the same plywood, just three quarter inch uh, runners. So there's no hardware uh, and they uh, slide on the runners themselves. Okay, so this is the bottom shelf that I'm installing. I don't show uh, making this because it's the same thing as the tabletop and that grid support system. Um, so if you can do the tabletop, you can do this bottom shelf. This is just to allow for more uh, storage for cutoffs and um, other things. So the next thing, we'll flip the table over and we're well on our way to having a new assembly table. Um, I don't show uh, building or installing the other side of the table with the cubbies and drawers. Uh, it's the same, uh, basically the same thing as this side. Uh, as you can see it here in this shot, um, I don't show us putting that together, but stay tuned for the third and final video and I'll give a complete walk around of the table and give you a tour and explain all the features. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is part two of a three part video series on the outfeed and assembly table. Uh, part one was the design aspect of the project where I showed you around the old table and also took you into SketchUp and to give you an idea of what to expect on the new table. Uh, but like I said, this is part two, the build process. Part three, uh, the next video that will be released is a walk around or a tour of the whole table, the new table that we have now, and to kind of give you an uh, uh, inside look at the features that this new table has that the old one didn't. Uh, and if you like it and you're interested in the plans, we have plans available over on the website. Uh, so I encourage you to check those out. I'll link them down in the description. Uh, and also the website article will be there for more information. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe so you can check out the uh, part three video that's coming out. And so you can always catch future videos that we release. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.